Game 5. Win or go home. And the Sparks were just one game away from going to the finals and facing the Aces yet again. Could they go back to back? Well, first, they had to finish the job in LA. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to game four of the WNBA playoffs or game five, excuse me, not game four. Jordan and Savannah have found a way to come back after being down 2-0 against the Lynx in this series. Win or go home. That's what it says right there. Sander Cooper tried to get one to go, and that one's offline. Jordan's still nursing that shoulder. But she's still playing lights out, though, like she's always been. Clarendon. Pass to McBride, and McBride lands the three. Beautifully done there. Win or go home. Game five. Brianna Jones. Pass to Jordan there. Jordan's going to let one go. Beautifully done. She drops that three. Ties the game. Collier fouls. Inside the paint, little floater there, an easy, easy one. It's very impressive how the Sparks were able to come back and from a two nothing deficit, as the ball was tipped and Jordan able to pick it up back for her team. Five, you got to shoot it. Jordan does, and Jordan couldn't quite get that to go. No surprise there, though. They had to be quick. Out of bounds. Lynx ball. Lynx retain possession after uh, the tip from the Sparks. Nafisa Collier. Collier lands that basket there. Savannah. It's a pass from Jordan. Jordan. Trying to find an opening. Sander Cooper, though. Sander Cooper with the assist and able to get the two with that pass. Five to eight now. Man, and guarding McBride. McBride, though, going up for it. McBride getting a second chance, and she gets it. As the Lynx are up five here against the Sparks at all. I cannot believe the Sparks were able to muster up victories. Get very impressive victories, nonetheless. Make it all the way back here in L.A. Is Jordan still trying to get some feeling back in that shoulder again? I mean, look at here. She lands this three. Very, very well. She lands the three. Right up here. She lands the three. And you can see that shoulder is still causing some pain here for Jordan. But Jordan, though. Is still a tough cookie. Playing through the paint. Time to shoot and counting. Collier able to get it in there. Too much points on the inside. And Williams with a pass to Jordan, and Jordan drops another three. And again, the Sparks are down one. There's McBride, McBride, Jordan lost her. McBride lands the three. There's 
Jones. Jones with the pass to Savannah. Savannah's gonna take the jumper. Timeout for the Lynx. Still plenty of energy left with all these ladies here. Danger field, three, lands it as she was wide open. Bad decision there on Jordan's part. Vadiva can't quite get that to go. And fouls. It's a rebound game. Game five here. McBride again landing the three. Three points. And this is exactly what happened in the first two games of the series that put them down. Vadiva though, going up and getting the two and the foul. Chance for a three-point play. Vadiva negatory on the three-point play here. Dangerfield though. Dangerfield getting the ball stripped away. There's Jordan. Jordan with a pass to Tia Cooper. Tia Cooper going up. Oh, just off. Tia Cooper again and getting fouled. First personal foul, teams first. Second team now Tia foul. Cooper's going for two. There's one. And there's two. They're forcing the Lynx to commit these fouls. And that makes it a little bit easier on them to get the plays that they want to. Danger field three. Jordan lost her a little bit. It's Dangerfield got that space. There's Vadiva. Vadiva getting the ball stripped away from her. She picks it back up. Tend to shoot. There's Cooper. Jordan's going to launch one. Three. Now Jordan. Jordan right up here poking the ball away. No, nobody there to help her out. Poking the ball away again. And there's again poking the ball away three times. Cooper trying to go up from two and unable to. Powers. Being guarded by Jordan. Four to shoot. Three, two. They gotta shoot it. Three anyway. Despite the good defense. Sometimes the shot is just too damn good. Vadiva. And the pass to Jordan. Jordan let one go. Three. Drains it. And she's still fighting that shoulder. I wonder if she was at 100% if this would be just a little bit different. Rather than trying to battle an injury and she, she lost it and there's Dangerfield with a three again. First quarter winding down. Jordan with a hand in her face. Jordan again, three. She's excelling. Danger field, three again. Somebody in her face though. Jordan's able to cause a contested shot and that's the end of the first. The Lynx up by a few. But nothing too dangerous here for the Sparks. The Sparks have been here before. Jordan and Savannah both sit for a little bit. Win or go home for both teams. Jordan, Jordan though, landing that three. She's fighting it, she's fighting it off. Jordan though with a turnover. 
Cooper to your Cooper. There it is. Three. McBride. And the ball that there's Don says danger field. Danger field letting one go, even though Jordan's in her face, and that was a bad decision there. This is exactly what they need. Jordan let one go. Three and the Sparks have taken the lead. Danger field with the ball. Danger field with the pass though. Collier. Danger field, letting one go. Offline. There's Jones, Brianna Jones coming in the trade of the White Mama. Sandra Cooper picking it up. Offline. That was a slippery slope there. Danger field. Trying to escape Jordan. Jordan just. Continuing to be a monster on defense. McBride, though. McBride off with the three. And the Lynx just can't seem to find anything going. Xander Cooper battling out and getting the two. Timeout for the Lynx. As the Sparks have this slim lead Savannah checking in danger field with the ball after the inbound danger field with a pass to McBride McBride's got it pass back to danger field Savannah and Jordan switching assignments here. Five to shoot. Dantas, the three, no. Savannah with a rebound though. Zally B, Zally B going up in there and can't quite get that one to go. I like the play though. McBride being guarded by Savannah. Savannah though, getting that foul and that allows a chance at a three point play to tie the game. McBride connects with that free throw and it's tight, just like that. There's Walker. Walker getting the foul. She's gonna go for two. There's one. And Walker gets two. Sparks and the Lynx have been exceptional at the three throw line. Tend to shoot. Good defense here. McBride with it. McBride taking a shot. Offline there. And Walker able to pick it up for the Sparks. Jordan's going to let one go, draining it. Jordan has been perfect. And Jordan gets the steal. Savannah. Savannah though with the pass to Jordan. Zowie B kind of got in the way there. Vadiva. Vadiva with the pass to Jordan. Jordan gonna let one go and she drains another three. That's the seconds wind down in the... Second quarter, Bannam three. three. Savannah, oh my, that would have been crazy, the half court shot as the Sparks have a very slim lead, but a five point lead nonetheless, going into halftime. Now, they need to Keep track of McBride because Kayla McBride's got 16 points, a rebound, and two assists here. So she's performing well, and she's done that throughout the entire series. 
the Sparks are looking for a win here to go on to the finals to face the Aces again. And it seems it's always been Jordan and Savannah versus the Aces. Now the Aces eliminated the Liberty in the finals before. They went back with a Liberty with Candace Parker and then won it. And then they went to the Sparks, won the championship. Now they're looking to do the same back to back. And see if they can do it, but they got to make it to the finals first. They got to focus on this. Savannah with the pass to Jones. Jordan drains that foul. From, I believe, Sandra Cooper there. Clarendon with the ball off the inbound. Jordan putting a lot of pressure on Clarendon here. McBride, McBride's wide open, long three. What, and that's just been, that's just kind of what it's been for the Lynx here with McBride just killing it, Collier. Missing that, Savannah gets the rebound. Savannah launching a pass to Jordan. Jordan drains the jumper. Jordan though, Jordan gonna go up for the two and offline there. 38 points for Jordan. Nafisa Collier. Collier with the three. Cooper, Cooper was wide open there. Could have seen a play. Savannah, 10 to shoot. Jordan's gonna take one. Jordan drains it again. This quarter with 11 points, 41 here tonight. Clarendon, McBride being guarded by Savannah. Fouls. Seven to shoot. Five and counting. They gotta. They gotta shoot it. Collier missing that one. And a turnover fouls. McBride three drained it. Kayla McBride. She has been lights out this entire series. Jones losing it. Jordan trying to dive for it. Sparks still retain possession. Jordan's got to avoid get, getting involved like that because, you know, she could injure herself even further. She drains another three there. Dangerfield with the ball. 69-63. Still anybody's ball game here in the third quarter. 65 now with that basket. That's the Jordan here. Jordan's gonna let one fly again, and there's Jordan. The baller is balling out. Dangerfield with the ball. Dangerfield. Dangerfield with a pass to McBride, fouls. Dangerfield, Dangerfield getting in there. Sandra Cooper, though, with a good defense. Jordan, wide open. Buckets. Dangerfield with the crossover, getting behind Jordan. Jordan, though, catching up. Fouls, Dangerfield with a wide open three, and there's Jordan there just missing. Three points. Turnover there. Just a bad decision with the pass. Oh, trying to dive for it. Sparks. 
Sparks get the ball, but there's a timeout there. Jordan's going to sit for a little bit. The Sparks still got it. Still on top of the lead. Fouls. It's getting in there. 75 to 87 now. Turnover again. Jordan's got to be a little bit more careful with those passes. What a block. Zowie B getting in there. And the Sparks end the third quarter, 87 to 75. Is the score right now. McBride's been playing lights out for the Lynx. Jordan playing lights out for the Sparks as we take a look at an assist of the game. And Vadiva got the foul off of that play with Jordan passing it. And that was almost a three point play, but that was an incredible play. This game here is Jordan going to go for the jumper offline with that one. Now the Sparks going through a little bit of a scoring drought here. Clarendon. Clarendon going for the jumper. 77 now. It's a 10-point game. Jordan, though, Jordan in and out, trying to pop it back in. The Sparks can't do it. Collier fouls. There it is. Easy. The Lynx are making this a game still. Sander Cooper. Turns around, back to Jordan. Jordan let one go, three. And look at that shoulder, it's still bugging her, but she's playing through it. Jordan getting the ball back. Jordan with a pass to Jones. Sparks gotta be pretty selective here, Jordan. Still going. As the Lynx continue to make mistakes. And this is what the Sparks were doing. They, they were making all kinds of mistakes the first two games in this series. They went on the road to Minnesota. Absolutely annihilated the Lynx at home. And now they're back home on their turf. Doing the same exact thing. Collier. Los Angeles foul. Taya Cooper. Taya Cooper Seven with the foul First there. Shooting from Minnesota. Nafisa Collier. Missing that. Getting the second one to go. 80 to 93. 13 points. Separating these two teams. Jordan, though, with a pump fake. Decided not to go for the shot. Trying to get a better look. There's Jordan. Jordan, though, drains it. And, and she was moving a little bit sluggish there. Get back on D. But uh, this is an incredible turnaround here for the Sparks. If the Sparks can outlast this. Remember, the only thing I did to the sliders was to make it equal more to make threes. So, it's really the only thing that I did uh, on both sides. On my side and on the CPU side. So, we're all equal in terms of, you know, what percentage of shots get made. Los Angeles, Williams. Jordan. 
Getting that foul though. Second team foul. Sparks about to break 100. And they do. This is such a great roster. The Sparks have conjured up, you know, everyone in this roster pretty much is in their mid-20s, you know, so this is mid to early 20s. So this is a very youthful roster as Savannah drains the three of her own. And it appears that the Sparks are celebrating because they know for a fact substitution for the Knicks. Substitution by the lane. By the lane. No shot. that they will be most likely taking this one over. But the Lynx are fighting. They're coming back, or at least trying to. So the Sparks gotta hang on. There's Jordan fighting for that two. The Lynx have gone on this run though. 15 to five. McBride still making that one. Savannah getting the ball there. Oh, huge turnover. Tried to, I think I tried to pass it to Savannah there, it just didn't still register. Assist goes to Kayla McBride. Savannah getting the ball, there's Sander Cooper. Jordan charging in. Jordan still pushing for that too. She's gotten pretty much the same points, same amount of points she had in the first half, inside, in the second. There's Jordan pushing in, there's Savannah. Jordan launching one, off one there. Granted, her percentage is down in terms of the amount of shots she's made, but But uh, she's been having this issue with turnovers as of late. Dangerfield, three. Nine-point game now. Jordan, though, shoving everybody out of her way and getting that, too. 20 seconds left, and it looks like the Sparks are going to advance to the finals from the looks of it, but it was a tough skid. They they went down 2-0 at home. Zowie B with a rebound. Jordan second chance. Three. As Jordan continues to pad her stats. But the Sparks went down 2-0. At home, and they win the series at home. 118 to 106 as they go to the finals. And they will face the Aces yet again for another WNBA World Championship.